in this first video lecture we'll start with the prerequisites of the subject mechanics of solids the chord is 213003 uh, before starting the content we'll go through the learning objectives so after watching this video lectures you will be able to recall the concepts like system of units laws of motions you will be able to define force centroid stress and strain and you will be understand the relation between stress and strain so these are the learning objectives that can be cross checked after watching the video lecture that whether they are being verified or not so starting with the uh, our syllabus of gujarat technological university these are the prerequisites system of units laws of motion basic idea of force concept of centroid fundamentals of stress strain in their relationship so we'll try to cover this concept in this video lecture starting from the system of units uh, we already know that these are the basic seven units which governs the next secondary units so the unit of length is meter unit of mass is kilogram for temperature it is kelvin time second amount of substance the unit is mole for luminous intensity the unit is candela and for electric current the unit is ampere from this fundamental units there are many hundreds of units can be derived so these are the some examples that unit of volume is cubic meter unit of density is kilogram per cubic meter unit of velocity is meter per second unit of force that is a uh, mass into acceleration so kg meter per second square that we call newton unit of energy is kg meter square upon second square that is joule and unit of pressure is pascals so we are totally aware of all the basic fundamentals and secondary secondary units the second uh, and the most important laws of the mechanical engineering or physics is laws of motions these are newton first second and third law these are the original words of newton uh, written in latin language uh, in our language the newton's first law of motion says that every body continues in a state of rest or uniform motion unless and until it is compelled to change that state by some external force so in simple words that an object that is in rest will stay at rest and an object that is in motion will not change its velocity unless an external force is acted upon that so that is newton's first law what newton's second law says that acceleration of body is proportional to the impressed force takes place in the direction in which force acts so higher the force more the acceleration lower the force lower the acceleration so it is directly proportional right the third law of newton says that for each and every action there is always an equal and opposite reaction so that is newton's third law the next an important concept is of force we already know what the force is we know the physical meaning of force but the uh, basic definition says that the action of one body on another body is described as force it could be any action what that force does is it changes or tends to change the state of rest or motion of the body so if body is at rest or motion this force will try to change that state of that body so it will either change or tends to change the next concept is of centroid centroid is nothing but the mean position of all the points in all the coordinate direction so these two examples given over here are of 2d so in that triangle this triangle this is the centroid it is a regular shape the second example is of irregular shape so the centroid of this irregular shape is over here we'll study it further in the module 2 that is cg and mi center of gravity and moment of inertia so to calculate this point the centroid that is an analytical method as well you can calculate it by balancing it by balancing method if it is in physical term the third concept is the next concept is resistance to deformation so listen carefully that when a material is subjected to external load 
it undergoes deformation so if this is a body any material it is subjected to either compressive load or tensile load it will deform the the shape will be changed but against that deformation against that deformation the material will offer a resistance so material is deforming because of force but the material doesn't want to deform it will offer a resistance which tends to prevents the deformation so it will create a resistance against the deformation so resistance to deformation and that resistance to deformation is known as stress so stress is nothing but a resistance offered by body against the deformation right so there should be clear that load or force it is applied to the body load is always applied externally to the body but stress is always induced inside the material of the body so the force is being applied but whatever the stress is generated in the material of this object that is this is induced it is not applied externally by us or by any other system it is induced automatically inside the body so stress is induced and force is always applied right how to calculate stress here a simple cylindrical bar is given over here and a tensile force is being acted so if f newton is force acting upon it and a is the cross sectional area of the cylinder it it a uniform cross sectional area then stress can simply be calculated as force upon area so this is how the stress is calculated next concept is strain so whenever the force is applied of course the deformation will be there up to small or large extent it will deform so the deformation or change in length is delta so how the strain is calculated basically strain is change in shape or size of the object due to external load so whatever the change takes place in the body it is called strain the calculation of strain is equal to delta upon l what is delta delta is change in length the original length hold was l but after the application of external force now the length is delta so change in length upon original length this is called strain so strain is nothing but the change in shape or size of the object due to external load that is the relation between stress and strain so right now i would request you to pause the video at this point, point and this thing that could there be any relation between stress or strain now you know what is stress you know what is strains then can there be any relation between it so pause this video for a minute think of it and then go to the next slide so what the relation says that stress is directly proportional to strain so higher the stress more the stress more the elongation or strain so the constant is modulus of elasticity it is the property of material that we'll understand in the next upcoming chapter in the module 3 this is the graph of stress and strain so at up to a certain point the stress is directly proportional to strain that point is called the limit of proportionality and it is called elastic region but after that in the plastic region uh, this equation this sigma the stress is directly proportional to strain this equation is not being followed in afterwards so it is followed only up to limit of proportionality so after watching this video you should be able to answer this four five questions pause this video and go through the questions and try to answer answer the questions by yourselves if you have any query meet me personally